and I thought we would do a lovely cleansing, healing, full moon meditation. So today is Tuesday the 6th, is that right? Tuesday the 6th of December. And there is a full moon in around the 7th, 8th, depending on where you are in the world. So I thought we would pull a few cards just to have a look at the energy and then just get stuck into a healing meditation. So there's the first card that wants to come up and I'm going to put my glasses on. The Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is such, look at that, that is a beautiful card of completion. It is a beautiful card I am hearing of dreams coming true, of wishes, of dreams. Of, if you look, um, these are all same, these are all versions. To me, they are all versions of the same person. So it feels like for many of us, we have been doing a lot of work on ourselves, a lot of internal work, a lot of healing work, whatever that looks like to you is perfect. And um, it's coming full circle now. So we are now in the energy of you. We are in the energy of building up to the winter solstice. I am going to be doing a beautiful online ceremony for the winter solstice on the 21st of December. I'll pop the link below. And um, the build up to that, Yule actually means wheel. So I'm very drawn to the circle, very drawn to this wheel and the turning of the wheel and the turning of the final wheel of 2022. And it feels like everything's coming together. It may not look like it's coming together right now. <laughs> it, so in some cases it could look quite chaotic. It could look like, what is the point? Um, and I find that is the, that's just before the dawn, um, before there is a breakthrough, there can be almost like a breakdown. Um, not that we're having breakdowns, but it can feel quite chaotic before we're shifting. And don't allow that to make you run on high. Don't allow that to um, put you, you know, to, to, what's the word, to give up. Okay, so dreams are coming true. It's all the wheel is turning and all of these parts, all you need to simply do, see the way all of them are holding their hands up? It's just like, just hold your hands up to receive. And for many, as I work with clients, you know, they one of the things that they may be working on is abundance and clearing abundance blocks and um, working on any resistance um, to that. And one of the things that I encourage them to do is there is abundance all around us. You know, it might not necessarily be in the monetary, but it will be in our relationships. It will be in the things that people do for us, little things that people send us, you know, little refunds that you might get back. So I would encourage you to work on the receiving, to, um, to be open to receiving, to acknowledging um, you know, what you have received. And one of the things that I um, am working with my groups and my one-to-one -one clients with that is doing at the minute is to reflect back on this year. Look back on this year, look how far you've came, like you're, you will be such a different person. And um, we don't acknowledge that. We want to see big shifts. We don't realise that we have actually like achieved so much. It just can take a wee bit of time when you're manifesting to work through our bodies, you know, mentally, emotionally, and then the physical is generally the last to shift. So, um, yeah, look back at what's working, what hasn't worked, you know, how far, like, just, you, you have came. You know, everybody, that will all look different for everybody. And then I want you to, because obviously with every full moon, then there's a new moon. And there's a new moon just, you know, at the winter solstice. So it feels like we're in this two-week um, container of release and I'm going to do a lovely meditation just to help with that today <clears throat> and then everybody feel, feels called to join me for it's going to be like a sacred container ceremony on the 21st and you know when you sign up um, there's a, a introductory video there it's only about 11 12 minutes just on how to prepare and how to almost create an altar for this ceremony what we're going to call in and it is very much on going into 2023 and our intentions and our goals and what it is like we are wishing to manifest also. So, um, because the winter solstice works with a Cernus energy, which is the god of fertility. Um, so that's really, really beautiful. But yeah, it's all coming together. 
So, you know, just allow whatever needs to fall away. So stuff that can be coming up now can feel quite intense or in the next couple of weeks. A lot of your fears and worries and things will be coming up just maybe out of nowhere and that's coming up to be healed. It's coming up um, because of what we're calling in. So don't get disheartened by it. Just work through it. Be the observer. Rise above the situation. Look down at it from this higher point of view and then you're, you're not as in the reaction of it. And you can, yes, be annoyed and feel whatever you need to feel. And then when you're ready, you can go, right, okay, what is this trying to tell me? Um, okay, so I'm just going to pull um, three cards from the top. The six of coins. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so this one here is cups. You know, so this is emotions. This is um, working on, I'm hearing the mental mind. And um, here we have the six of coins. Again, it feels very receiver. This is a beautiful um, tarot deck called the Sophie Tarot. So um, it's gorgeous. Um, but I'm still getting used to it. I only bought it, so I'm still sort of learning about it. And I'm just sort of reading the cards intuitively as I'm seeing them first. Um, so it feels like, um, yeah, this feels like a union. This feels like you're not meant to do this on your own. But for some of us, we have been hurt so many times that we end up closing our heart. We end up <clears throat> feeling like we are on our own. And then that blocks like abundance to us. It blocks, you know, emotional well-being. It blocks so much because we've been hurt. So it feels like um, connect with this symbol, the infinity symbol, which brings in balance. So we'll bring that into the meditation. But just feel that going into your third eye now as I talk. Feel it going into your throat and your heart and um, your sacral chakra, which is where we create from. And um, yeah, connect with the energy of the coins, um, which as we know is abundance, but it's also connected to the earth. So the coins are connected to the earth element um, and um, yeah, cups. Cups would be connected probably to the water element, I think. Um, so each of the elements would be you know, we're working around us because we're our own alchemist, okay? So connect with the energy of water when you're wanting to bring flow into your life. Connect with the energy of earth when you're really wanting to manifest. Um, you know, bring in yourself. We can't be too up here all of the time. We must come into your bodies. We must be in reality. Be in this, like, grounded spirituality is what, what it is. And um, as you can see, even in this cup, there's, like, um, you can see the trees in the background and leaves, you know, and... So, you know, connect with the earth, go for walks, you know, maybe do some yoga. Be conscious. I'm feeling a lot of people really need to rest um, in December. Um, you know, we have worked hard all year. We have been doing, 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 and it feels like the body just needs to be in the feminine. It just needs to rest, to create, to rest, to process, to rest, to integrate. Um, and for many of us, we can maybe like going to the gym or like running or like doing quite intense exercise and that's okay. But just make sure there's a balance and make sure you listen to your body. And if you're really feeling, I'm not feeling this today, then listen to that. Okay. And there's still lots of other exercises and things that you can do that are just not as intense, but there's still movement to move the energy around the body. And this feels very much also what I'm seeing is it's an energy of connecting with your inner child. Like this feels like a child's hand. And this feels like an adult hand. So this is asking you to spend time with your inner child. And one of the ways we do that is with our own children or with other people's children that we're maybe close to. Um, or just simply, you know, going back through memories, looking through photographs. Really, you know, your inner child is always with you. Um, and think about this time of year and think about maybe what it was like for them. Was it very busy? Was it, you know... I always find, you know, you've got these Christmas movies, which I love Christmas movies, I'm a bit obsessed with them, but they're not really reality. It's there's a bit of a disconnect. That's not what happens in real life. And and I don't see why it can't. I don't see why we can't spend more time with our children and doing more fun, festive things together. Um, it doesn't have to be always rushing about and always buying, you know, the bigger presents or bigger things or whatever. And I think it's really important, you know, at this time of year to spend time with these aspects of self. So you've got your inner child, you have your mother energy or your father energy. Um, and then you have you as, you know, um, so the mother or father would be, you know, you know, getting the presents and looking after the home and spending time together and putting others first. 
Um, but then you must connect with the inner child. You must connect with that um, crone energy or sage energy in males, which is that wisdom, which is also that wise, that wise and that wildness. So that's why I go out and party and have fun, not to excess, but in balance here. And then um, spend some time doing stuff that's just for you, whether it's joining my <laughs> solstice event or like I'm going to a breathwork session on on Sunday, just something for me to celebrate this time and the closing and the turning of the wheel. Okay, so I'll just pick one more card, which is the Eight of Coins. Yeah, I mean, I, I love that. Um, again, we've got number eight, which is infinity. And it's almost saying, you know, this feels like, you know, there's a doorway we're going through. So if you imagine um, on Monday, the 12th, 12-12 portal um, is a doorway, um, a very beautiful doorway. The number 12 is a very sacred number, you know, 12 months of the year, you know, 12 disciples. So, um, yeah, it feels like um, you have 12, is it the 12 days of Christmas? think <laughs> um so it feels like this is like our soul self in the background and dancing and free and like trying to get our attention and we're just working 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 head is down you know we're really connecting in with the fears of society and the fears of you know what's happening in the world and you know we're, fe we're feeling like I need to I need to work I need to provide I need to keep my family safe or whatever it is um, and that is okay but just look up look up and take a break because um, you could have an accident, you could um, miss something, you could end up learning that and have to start again. You know, there's so much has been produced. You've actually got so much abundance already there. Put down your tools just for a little bit. Go and connect with this part of you that just wants to move or dance or feel free or have fun, whatever that is. I love dancing. For you, it might be mountain climbing. I might not love climbing a mountain too. Um, you know, it's just, it doesn't matter. Everybody's different. Okay, so take that time. Okay, so let's, um, let's get comfortable. I'm just looking at the card at the bottom. That's not, which is the hermit. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to rest to receive. Okay, we're going to connect our hearts and we're going to do our inner temple. All right. Just allowing the eyes to gently close. Just allowing the body to get into a comfortable position, whether you are lying down or sitting up, it doesn't matter, as long as you're comfortable. If there is any other distractions in the house, put earphones in, or maybe pause this and come back to you later. And gently just close your eyes and I'm seeing a beautiful veil, you know, a veil being put over your head just to really shut out the noise of the outside world. And I would, I'm being shown at the noise of social media and closing that, shutting that out for a period of time. And just becoming aware of your breath, the rise and fall of your chest. And just breathe in nice and deeply into your heart for three and then out for six through the mouth. And in your next in breath, you're going to visualize a beautiful light coming in through the crown of your head. And this light is coming in at a point and this, it feels like a star. I'm being shown um, the story of Jesus' birth. I'm being shown the star and the three wise men. And I want to bring in the energy of the three wise men. I want to bring in the energy of frankincense, myrrh and gold. I want you to feel those metals, those energies, those herbs, resin going into your system. Frankincense helps with inflammation. It helps with the brain. It helps with any uh, nervous system um, conditions. 
so really really good for anxiety also myrrh is connected to myrrh is a very grounding earthy um, resin or scent and it is connected to the healing of the mother so we have the mother energy mother earth your own mother winding whether this is you as a mother or your family line and any mother issues with your own mother and then we have the energy of gold which is wisdom which is your light and this winter solstice is the return of your light but first before the light comes we must enter the dark and we're going to go into our inner winter our dark this full moon we're going to go into the shadows into the shadow self connect with the inner child see what is coming up to be here and what we have stuffed down and we've suppressed and in order to call in the new and our dreams and desires to come through or to come true we must look at what we've stuffed down we must face what we've shoveled shoved into the shadows and bring that to light so don't over identify with ever whatever comes up over the next week or so try not to be in the reaction in the trigger as i say rise above and look down at it feel whatever it needs to feel whatever emotion you need to feel and then look at what the symbolism is what it's trying to tell you what memories it's bringing up and just simply be Let's connect with the star in the sky, the star of David. And the star is your guiding light. And it feels like, um, it feels like we're on a camel, you know, like the wise men. So you've got the three wise men and then there's you. And you're leading on your camel. I'm not quite sure what the symbolism of camels are, but I will look it up after this and post it below. And we can show the energy of camel's milk. Um, camels, um, there is a milk and it's very, very good for you. So possibly is that mother in energy. And also camels, um, I've seen their humps. So um, it's, it's um, they go very slowly. very underestimated which could be you also or maybe you you hump yourself maybe you go into a huff hmm. symbolism and everything so we're just walking towards the star we're following the light there's always a light no matter in our darkest of days find the light And we're just on a journey. And as we go along this journey, there'll be symbolism. We will need to stop and to rest before we reach that goal, before we achieve that star, that desire, that dream. And we're just stopping at a stream. We're going to have some water, so for many of you who drink plenty of water after this, we're just going to stop and rest. And you can now strip down and just lie in the water and allow the energy of flow to move through your system to cleanse your chakras to cleanse your hormone glands to cleanse your organs your cells your meridians just allow this beautiful energy to go into the brain around the back 
back of the neck. It's very peaceful. Just to wash your energy field from anything that's not serving you, any stagnant energy that has been gathered up. You might feel a little bit emotional after this meditation because water is connected to emotions. Washing is energy in motion and we're just shifting this energy and I would encourage you to connect with the energy of water, to have Epsom salt baths, to listen to the sound of water, to allow any emotions that need to come up, just without judgment, feel them. And suddenly we are just being taken downstream. Don't worry about your stuff. Just allow the flow to take you where you need to go. And sometimes it's in those moments when we just simply stop and rest. We don't need to achieve that goal today. We don't need to reach that thing today. Stop and listen to the body and the body needed rest, it needed to water. And I've been shown it just needed one step, it didn't need to be shown all the other steps. Just one step was to stop. And once you did that, then the next step will be shown and, and it's almost like you're being taken downstream. You don't actually need to put any effort in. When you do stop and be in your feminine, there is no effort required. You will just be guided because you're in alignment. And I'm being shown a stream that comes to the end of a cliff, so it's like a waterfall now, and you're not to panic. Allow the surrender. Allow yourself to just have fun. Allow you just the draw, the... Because <sighs> sometimes our fears and our desires are very similar in. a bit of fun coming there, there's a bit of laughter as you fall, fall, fall. And I've been shown that you've fallen into mother's milk, but actually when I look again it is the energy of mother's milk. The nourishments, this is just a symbolism that your body needs nourished, your, your soul needs nourished, your organs need nourished, but also it's the colour of that has reminded me of the moon and suddenly it's become dark and there is the full moon in the sky. The full moon helps us to release what is no longer serving us. The full moon draws toxins to the surface so it's a really good time to do a bit of a cleanse, even a wee bit of intermittent fasting just for a day in and around the full moon. To just not have any alcohol or any sugar, it just allows your body to really flush out. And as you lie there in this mother's milk, but it's really like a moon water, the feminine, it's going into any little holes in your energy field and it's filling them up, sealing them, filling your cup up. And as you lie there um, moonbathing, just allow the moon to shine down. It's like the, it's going into the brain, it's going into your chakra energy system because we cleansed them before and now we're filling them up. It's going into the nervous system, the chakra system, the organs and it will go to wherever it needs. So you might feel a sensation in a particular area and that's just the area that is needed at this time for you to heal.
deeper and deeper and you're going to go through the murky water and that is what's in front of you right now the unknown and what we do is we avoid that but we're not going to avoid it we're going to go straight through it because we know what's on the other side is the light we know what's on the other side is better we just have to face the murkiness that's never as bad there's so much learnings and wisdom so everybody's murkiness will be different everybody's fears and it won't last for long And now you're through the murky waters. And a very, I'm being reminded that once we come through the murky waters, once we come through a stressful situation, we're exhausted. And we can want things to change and be a certain way very, very quickly, but it's like we're coming into, like there is light, it feels lighter, but it also feels very empty. There's not much life around here. And this is where we plant these seeds. We have to actually, it's like painting a picture. I want you to see it like a canvas in front of you. So this is the new moon energy. This is the solstice energy. And there's a beautiful canvas in front of you. And you've been given a, a paintbrush and you've been given lots of different paints. And I want you to paint what you're calling in what you're wishing to manifest, how you wish your life to be. And everybody's will be different, will interpret this in a different way. And it's a bit like the scene from Mary Poppins where, um, I love that movie, where they paint um, like a merry-go-round or something and then they jump into the painting. So we're gonna do that. It's just really bright colours because you are the creator of your own life. That's why it's blank. We all have a free will. Let's just take a few moments to allow your imagination to take over your creativity. And then you're going to jump into it. You're going to go and explore. I'm going to allow you to, I'm going to go quiet for five minutes to allow you to go into your painting, to allow you to um, gather any symbolism or take note of anything. You might even call in your higher self, your higher soul self, your future self. It might be a loved one that has passed just for guidance on any situation that you have coming up and any help you need.
I'm going to claw you back. Hmm. I have to the string. You're gonna get out of the war. And you have a beautiful um, cloak that the three wise men have. And you're gonna continue on that journey. You're gonna get on to the camel. You're gonna look up and you're gonna see the light through the star, your light. And you're gonna follow that star. Maybe you've traveled all day. And now it's night time again. And you see a beautiful tent. It's one of those arena type tents. And this is where you're gonna stop and rest. Yes, you could keep going, but we're gonna stop and rest. You get off the camel and you're gonna invite the three wise men. You're gonna go inside your tent. And there's a gorgeous bed and you're just going to lie down. And this tent is like a you know, this tent is like a temple. And you're going to just rest to receive him. Just going to surrender and allow your body to heal. And you're gently going to bring yourself back into your body, back into the room, like little fingers and toes. Just give those any energy. Just give thanks, placing your hands on your heart, and integrating all of that energy. Let's connect with your feet on the earth, connect with the earth beneath you. Just bring yourself back down into your body, into the earth. And as you come back into the room, I've pulled a, a couple of cards here just to finish. And just to remind you that when I do these meditations, I channel Reiki healing energy, integrated energy therapy, shamanic healing, so what happens is it is like a very um, strong healing session. It's not just a meditation for relaxation. So that's why I will yawn and my eyes will water and I will burp at times as I help to clear the energy for whoever is watching this, whenever they're watching it. <sighs> so as you slowly come back into the room, I just want to show you the couple of cards that we've ended on and this is the five of cups um, and because we have just went through a letting go process connected with the full moon I'm very drawn to I'm here and don't cry over spilt milk or you know you know if you look here this is what's it's gone it's it's dead it's there's no point in crying but look at what's in front of you, this beautiful, two beautiful cups of tea that are warm, that are ready, that are inviting. That's what's right there in the present moment. Many of us are, struggle to let go. We always want to be somewhere or be in the past or thinking, what if? And just trust the flow that the universe, that God, that, you know, you will flow to where you're meant to go. And just let this stuff go that's, that's not for you anymore. Whether it be a relationship or a job, an old part of you, a friend. Take a drink of this tea or cacao. 
a really good tea while the other in this is um, Puka Three Tulsi Tea or Tulsi Clarity Tea. I would recommend that for anybody that's very, very tired at this time. And then the last card is a bit close. It's the Malika of Cups. I think this is the Queen of Cups. And this is the doorway. So once we rest, we're going to go through a beautiful doorway. Fully connected, you know, with our emotions. Very drawn to um, the peacocks in the background. And peacocks are connected to self-love, self-care. They're connected to um, protection. They're connected to the peacocks feather. You know, if you look at the feathers, it just looks like the third eye. So clarity, vision, focus. Peacocks, you know, in certain traditions were, you know, seen as bad luck, but they're not. You know, they're very connected to the feminine, intuition, trust in your intuition. But also the peacock feather is just, I'm here. Do you know, it's like, see, you know, no more dimming, no more dimming of this light. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine peacocks. So... We're just walking through a doorway of endings and then the new beginnings are going to be coming in around the winter solstice. It's going to be coming in around the new moon, the 23rd of December. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, thank you for watching. And if you feel like joining me for the winter solstice, you'll send.